Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the first go or fielding ergonomics Argo Slider Plus. This is an ergonomic roller bar mouse that retails for about 240 bucks, but you can find it on sale for about 175 currently on Amazon. So most ergonomic products such as the truly ergonomic keyboard or the tech mechanical keyboard we reviewed last year have a slightly steeper price tag than people expect, and that's because they're designed so that it gives you the best posture. If you're constantly working on a computer day in and day out and sitting down, this prevents too much strain from your wrists as well as the muscles on your shoulders and uh, gives you apparently a more ergonomic, comfortable, and efficient experience. With that being said, 175 bucks for a mouse is definitely expensive, and it's an investment to consider. So taking a quick look at the packaging here, it's pretty simple. Just like other ergonomic mouses we've seen, a benefit here is it stays in one place since it's the roller uh, kind of bar that slides up and down left and right instead of the entire mouse shifting around on a surface, uh, which means that if you're tight on space, you can just leave this in one spot and it doesn't actually physically move around. Um, otherwise, it works using a simple plug-and-play USB-based port, so it works with both Mac, Mac and PC, and also uses a, quote, reliable 800 dpi laser sensor for navigating around using that bar. It is a fairly long keyboard in terms of, you know, horizontal dimensions, so that's something to point out. If you have a full-size keyboard already on your desk, or a ergonomic keyboard, it's going to be about the same size in terms of, again, the width. You can see some basic uh, info on the back, including uh, labels for the forward and backward clicks, as well as the scroll wheel in the center, and then the bar itself, which can be navigated around to move the cursor on screen. Other benefits on here, you can see that it's supposedly super easy to replace, as well as smooth and easy to use, although it will probably still take some time to get used to uh, just coming from a regular mouse. We'll see how long that process takes and get back to you guys. There's also a choice of left or right in terms of cable out, so it gives you some flexibility in terms of where you plug in the cable. It's always nice, uh, you know, depending on if you're left-handed, right-handed, or if you have a certain setup on your desk. All right, so ripping things open, right on top there is a quick warranty card from the company and some basic info about you know this ergonomic mouse. There's a protective sheath underneath and then we have just the ergo slider itself. We'll take a closer look at this in a moment. The USB seems to be attached already and then there is the sliding kind of um, bar itself, which is separately placed. Underneath there is an instruction manual that documents how to set it up and how to use it in various languages, how to access some of the shortcuts like double clicking, right clicking, dragging around and moving it. Again, this definitely takes a bit of time to get used to, so I would actually look through parts of this documentation when you first take it out of the packaging to get used to the setup here, because uh, it does seem like a very atypical design. So the construction of the mouse itself is made predominantly out of a fusion between plastic and soft touch rubber components. There is an oversized cushion for your wrists on the front here, um, so that when you are using it, it almost seems like a mini keyboard. You can have a more comfortable, I guess, position and angling. With that being said, you know, if you have a larger keyboard that already has this cushion in the front, then you probably have to remove it on the keyboard since it now becomes a bit redundant. Um, you can see the keys themselves are fairly tactile and responsive. There's a nice click to them, even though they're not mechanical keys per se, and the center scroll bar here is also very ergonomically shaped, and it feels fairly smooth and easy to navigate around, although it's not super weighty if you compare it with some gaming mouses we've seen in the past. But overall, the button response feels very good. And on the back here, there's access to some rubber feet that prevents the mouse from sliding around on a surface. There's also some basic info from the company, and that's it. So very light, lightweight as far as the feel is concerned, but certainly not bad. And you can see that this is where the cable is. It's actually not a detachable cable. They just tell you um, it's able to be popped onto the left or the right because there are a few different grooves. If you see here, I can pull this out and then rewire it myself by pulling the cable onto the other side if I want it to come out from the right, for instance. But there isn't actually a way to detach it, so there's no physical ports that allow you to, let's say, plug in your own cable. But regardless, you can see the cable here is just a standard USB, so it seems like it will just work by plugging into any computer, 
laptop uh, or desktop. Move the bar forward to have the cursor move to the top of the screen and down to move the cursor uh, you know, to the bottom of the screen. So this is all fairly intuitive and surprisingly I didn't actually have to take too long to get used to this positioning. Everything actually works quite well and it's very very sensitive. In fact compared to a regular mouse I was just surprised at how fast the cursor was kind of jumping around. So that's one of the things I had to take a, you know, a few minutes to get used to because the most minute of uh, movements will correspond to a rather large jump on the display. Maybe that has to do with the high DPI count, but it certainly is very, very, very sensitive. But perhaps that's a good thing. It makes you, uh, you know, have to move around a little less just to get to places on screen. Uh, if you hit the edges of the kind of bar here, there's also a small button that you can see. It makes a click. I can hear. This uh, end cap here doesn't actually trigger any other function. It just is a tactile sensation that tells you hit the end of the uh, bar here when you are just using it and not looking at the mouse and instead you're just looking on screen. So there's no additional shortcuts or smart commands that you can use this uh, click button for. It's not programmable. Otherwise, you can see that down below here, these two keys are for back and forward. So if you're in the browser, if you tap on this, it goes to the previous page and vice versa, this takes you into the next page. And it's a pretty nice layout, the keys themselves, no issues as far as the spacing and the size is concerned. These are just standard left and right click keys. So if you tap on an address bar, for instance, or if you're typing out a message, you can just tap on that and the cursor will go in between words for you to type out and move around as you expect. You can also click by tapping down the entire higher uh, roller bar, so this entire thing depresses. It's also very tactile and responsive, and this does the same thing as a standard left click. So these two are the same features. The scroll wheel here also works very well, but again, just like the mouse portion, it's very, very fast. So a, the smallest movement will correspond to a rather large jump on screen. These things, unfortunately, can't be kind of tweaked or changed to your your liking. There isn't software that comes bundled with that. But I think in time, you, I will get used to it. And overall, it does still work quite well. A bit of a demo here. You can see that I can just move this cursor up. And again, it moves up to the top of the screen. Bottom moves it down. So it is extremely, extremely sensitive. You can see how much movement there is without really moving this bar, considering that you have this huge gap and this huge distance to really maneuver it. It also doesn't really uh, seem to care where you pop you know, in this uh, Roller bar, um, so I can pop it in for the first time, you know, slanted, not even in the center, and that's where it's going to start in terms of the movement of the mouse. So it works pretty well as far as uh, just popping it in and start using it. There isn't a huge calibration process that you need to get used to. Um, otherwise, this is definitely not a mouse that you would want to use on the go, since again, the roller part really is. You know, doesn't stay on using magnets or anything at all, so it falls out pretty easily. Uh, but you know, of course, if you're sitting down and it's on a desk, it does a pretty good job of just staying in place. Uh, the bar itself is coated in a layer of the soft touch grippy material, so it feels pretty good as far as uh, having a good grip uh, when you are actually moving and corresponding to the cursor jumping around on screen. I want to point out that the Ergo Slider Plus doesn't come unrivaled in this ergonomic mouse space. There are other models by brand names like Logitech. We've seen this uh, kind of ball mouse before. It has a similar concept in the sense that the mouse itself doesn't physically move around because that movement does tend to strain your wrist a little bit more, especially uh, at this angle that isn't so ideal to begin with when you're sitting down, but you're just moving one part uh, and that corresponds to the movement of the mouse. Now the Ergo Slider Plus, of course, has a more novel design, but you know these other options slightly retail for slightly less. Regardless, ergonomic, products are expensive, again, just because they require unique components and parts that you don't typically find in standard mouses or keyboards. And they also require more cycles of A-B testing as well as you know, uh, more cycles of iteration than a generic product will require. So that all comes down to cost. And of course, you as a consumer has to pay more. When it comes to usability, the Argo Slider Plus doesn't have a preference of whether you're left-handed or right-handed. You can master this mouse completely using just one hand if that's what you want, even though it really takes up the size of something that seems like a two-handed uh, product. Regardless, you know, the cushion itself is comfortable and you can see that using just one hand, it's more than adequate as far as uh, clicking and accessing the various controls. And the same thing can be said using the left hand. So in some ways I would have liked if they just made a uh, separate left version or right-handed version where the entire thing would be shifted more towards one direction. I think that just makes a little bit more sense intuitively when you look at the product, whereas right now it's still relatively centered and it just seems more like a device that you would want to use with two hands. And there's no problems with using it uh, like, like a keyboard and 
putting both of your hands on there. But although that is a deviation from a standard mouse where you control everything using your dominant hand. So here's the Ergo slider next to a more traditional full-size USB keyboard. And this is probably where most folks picking up this product will be sitting it next to. You can see it works pretty well. Size definitely comparable in terms of, again, the width to a full-size keyboard. And you can also slightly position onto kind of the curves or the ramps of a keyboard, and it still stays in place really well just because the uh, mouse is so lightweight. And um, you can see that even at this elevated angle, the bar here doesn't tend to get loose or drop out. Um, so it remains a pretty comfortable experience as far as transitioning between typing something and also accessing the mouse down below here. Um, as far as uh, using this for other purposes, like gaming for instance, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. There isn't that much customization as far as the layouts and what you can program the buttons for. However, if you are just using this for the day-to-day -day in terms of typing, uh, you know, checking your emails, web browsing, things like that, this actually makes for a pretty good uh, option. Um, and it certainly does replace the regular mouse without any problems. Um, so all in all, I have to say that the Ergo Slider Plus is definitely a niche product. It's not for everyone. But then again, ergonomic keyboards are ready for a fairly uh, narrow de demographic um, of you know people who really want something that is better on their posture, better on their health, and they don't you know, mind paying a little bit extra for something like that. And I think that as a whole, I'm impressed by how unique this mouse looks and the fact that it does actually work without having to take that much time to understand its concept. When I first look at, looked at its images online, I initially thought that it would take much longer to get used to the layout, but it's actually well built and everything in terms of its motion actually makes sense. So once you actually play around with it, uh, you'll be used to everything within a few minutes. The only thing, like I've said, that takes a little longer to get used to is really the precision and how fast the cursor moves around on screen. And that takes uh, a little time to get used to, but that means you have to make smaller movements to correspond to whatever you want to do. And in a sense, that does remind me of something like a mechanical keyboard, which relies on the same concept. Uh, that is, because of mechanical switches, you have to exert less force on each key and then the switch does most of the work for you. So just exerting the lightest force will allow the entire key to click down and correspond to a letter being pressed on your computer. So the same thing here, because you have to exert less force and you have to move around even less, um, it does improve your efficiency. And I do believe that after weeks or months and even years of using this, you would be able to get pretty good at it. Although afterwards, adjusting back into a normal mouse might take, again, some, some time to get used to. So anyways, guys, that's been our video first look and a quick review of the Ergo Slider Plus, a very interesting ergonomic mouse that I doubt many of you guys have even heard of or seen. So I wanted to really quickly share this. And of course, you can check out more information in the links down below. But that's our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. Overall, a pretty solid ergonomic mouse if that's what you're looking for.